Hi guys, so what's very frustrating with trying to reach people who continue to think that leaving the European Union was a good idea is how pro-Tory, pro-Brexit outlets like the Express will take something that is clearly bad for Britain and blame the European Union for it. I want to show you a clip from a report carried out by Euronews. In it, a journalist visited the south of England where there is a massive operation growing peppers for sale in British supermarkets. Due to new immigration rules and the ending of freedom of movement, the farmers are unable to get their hands on the staff they need to pick the food. This has meant hundreds of tons of fruit and vegetables simply rotting on the plant or rotting on the ground. Some staff are available, but there is a shortfall in the tens of thousands. This is a consequence of the type of Brexit Boris Johnson and other Brexiteers wanted. And it, like on many other occasions, looks likely to benefit the European Union at the expense of British industry. I touched on this story before, but I want to show you how the pro-Brexit media ran with it. On the south coast of England, and it's the largest farm of its kind in the UK. Ten and a half hectares of greenhouses full of pepper plants, which ordinarily would be picked every three days. Currently, it's every 11. Did you suspect that this might happen? I think that we thought that there was a possibility, but what we didn't see was how extreme it would be. I think it's the extremities of the reaction of people to it. I think that's what has taken the business by surprise. Five miles away, a field full of wasted courgettes. The fear for farms like this one is that British supermarkets will look to the EU to fill their empty shelves. And that would make perfect sense. Because if the supermarkets want to sell their produce, they want to sell peppers or courgettes or something else, and they can't get them in Britain, they're going to search for them somewhere else. They're going to find new suppliers. And if they're able to find them in the European Union, they're going to use the ones from the European Union. It makes it's simple business sense. On this one farm, there are three quarters of a million unpicked courgettes, 150 tons worth of vegetables that have simply been left to rot. That's because they can't get the staff. And if this continues, it will force farms like this one to make difficult decisions about their future. Um, it's been <laughs> it's so, it, it is frustrating to watch this. Because these businesses had relied on foreign workers for years. They provided employment for them. And now it's not possible because freedom of movement has been ended and stricter immigration rules have been brought in. To keep racists happy. That's what it's been about. I've said this before. Brexit is two-tier. One is disaster capitalism and the other is keeping racists happy. Now, I've covered this story before. I just want to cover on how we'll talk about how this was actually covered by the Express, the pro Tory pro Brexit Express. You can see here the headline EU plot sparks uh, farmer fury as Brits luck to Brussels to fill empty shells. EU plot. There we have it. Now, your average person on the street, your average voter is going to pick up the Express or they're going to find it in their social media. Uh, platform and they're going to read EU plot that's enough so it's the EU manipulating Brexit in some way to harm British business and that's what they'll run with that's what they've been primed to think because if you read the Express on a daily basis I hope not too many people do that but if you do, you see every day there's a story about how the EU is about to collapse or the EU is manipulating Brexit in some way. And the ordinary person on the street doesn't have the time to research these things, doesn't have the time to uh, understand what's truly happening here. But they're easily convinced by, our, by headlines and articles like this, an EU plot. How do we counter this? By calling it out by pointing out that this is a consequence of Brexit, by limiting freedom of movement, by putting up barriers to people coming into the country to do the work that British people, let's be frank, British people don't want to do, then you're going to have these consequences. You're going to have fruit and vegetables rotting in fields. 
or in warehouses and you're going to have businesses like supermarkets importing stuff from abroad benefiting who benefiting the european union let me know in the comment section guys what you think about all of this as always your comments are greatly appreciated thanks a lot i want to say a big big thank you to all of my patrons you ensure that this channel continues to exist i'm eternally grateful for all of your support if you join patreon you will receive instant access to our discord server where we have both audio and video chats you can chat with me and other patrons where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee, so why not check it out?